Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you the three different types of privacy settings we have in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So when I, I'm in Microsoft Teams right now, and if I hit um, join or create a team uh, option over here and create a team, and we're building a new team from scratch, I will get to see these three options, private, public, and org wide. So I would like to explain to you these three options and the difference between uh, all of them. So before we do that, um, first we need to understand, um, you know, what's happening behind the scenes when I create a new team. Uh, team does not just exist in space out there. Uh, it's part of uh, an Office 365 group. Uh, and essentially Office 365 group is a membership security group and uh, whoever the members of this group are, they get you know to share the the access, the same access to all of the um, you know to all of the assets, to all of the applications that are part of this uh, Office 365 group. So if let's say I create a team, a new team from uh, Microsoft Teams with um, you know pri uh, with a, 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 it's a private uh, team, uh, it's actually going to create a, a private Office 365 group with you know a private site uh, and essentially this setting will apply to everything you see here meaning that uh, only the members of the team uh, can access uh, uh, you know can access this group and uh, everything attached to it now this is the same um, the, this privacy setting you know public or private uh, this is the same um, you know settings we have to specify when we create uh, a new team site, a group from any other location, right? It could be a team site, it could be uh, a new group created from a calendar uh, or a new plan for, from planner. Uh, just to prove the point, so I am in uh, SharePoint right now. If I click on SharePoint start page, and if I create a new team site, here we go, create a site, create a new team site. Of course, this is uh, not just a regular team site, it's a team site part of uh, Office 365 group. And, um, you know, I'm just going to uh, give it a random name. Uh, here we go. I guess I already have this one. Uh, let's try uh, something else. Here we go. Now, uh, again, uh, behind the scenes, of course, it's creating an email distribution list. Uh, it's creating a site, of course. Uh, but look at this. You know, I get uh, asked the same question, public or private. Uh, now, what is the difference between public and private? Again, uh, private uh, essentially means that you have to be a member of the team to access content. Uh, so private means that only group owners can uh, determine who the members are and you know, can invite or disinvite members from the team. Public means you don't need anyone's permission. Public means it's like free lunch for everyone kind of thing and uh, essentially what it means is that if you uh, if you you know get a URL of the site uh, if you see a group you can just freely join it without anyone's permission all right so that's essentially the difference between private and public now if we go back to teams now uh, and let's follow the same steps so we're creating a new team from teams uh, again I'm going to build a new team from scratch now I'm also, um, you know, I'm also uh, getting asked the same question. Uh, what kind of, uh, um, you know, privacy setting uh, will, will it be on this group, on this team? And if you notice, in addition to private and public, which we already know what they are, we also get to, uh, you know, we have been asked, um, you know, we have another choice, uh, another option, org-wide. Uh, what does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, why, do we have, why do we have this uh, third option? Now, this org-wide option uh, only, uh, is only available in Microsoft Teams, right? If you noticed uh, previously when I created a new team site or if you create a new uh, group from Outlook, you, you don't have this option. You only get this option uh, in, uh, uh, in Teams. Also, this option is not available um, to, to any user. If, uh, if it's a regular user creating a new team, you, you can only choose between these two, between private and public. This option is available to me because I happen to be an Office 365 global admin. So this option is only available to admins. Uh, now, so what's unique about this option? What will happen if I choose org wide? It actually tells you over here in fine print uh, if you, uh, what that means, 
um, is that if you create this new team, uh, an org by team, everyone in your organization will automatically join it. All right. So it's kind of a special case, a unique case for public uh, team, public group, if you will. Uh, with public, um, it, it kind of doesn't really advertise the group in a way, meaning that um, it does create a group, but uh, you have to kind of, uh, you know, manually join it, manually, uh, you know, click on the button, manually join it yourself. Org wide, uh, it will pretty much uh, automatically join you. All right. And the cool thing about org wide teams is that it goes against your uh, employee directory. It goes against your active directory. So as people come and go in the organization, they will automatically be part uh, of the team. All right. So once you create new user IDs uh, in your directory and assign licenses, uh, essentially this users will automatically uh, join uh, this team. Now, and again, and because this team, uh, again, does not just exist in space out there, right? Um, you're not just getting, of course, teams, right? You are getting everything you see on the slide. So it will create a new SharePoint site, uh, you know, for you to, uh, to manage content and other assets as well. And they will all, they will all manage the same, uh, the same security, the same, um, you know, privacy setting uh, as the team. So essentially, uh, it will still be org wide for the site, for example, as well. Uh, so other than that, I mean, there is really no, uh, I mean, it behaves um, just like, um, uh, just like uh, uh, any other team uh, or Officer 65 group. Uh, so essentially, um, again, we just provide the new name, hit create. And, you know, what's going to happen behind the scenes, of course, the new, uh, org wide uh, team has been created, but you know, once again, it has the same uh, the same capabilities as, as any other teams. You know, in terms of uh, channels, uh, it does create the side behind the scenes, of course, uh, with the same security setting. And uh, in the um, in the upper right hand corner, you will kind of see uh, uh, this org wide uh, kind of label, meaning that uh, everyone in the organization will automatically join this uh, group. Uh, when their user ID, with, when their account is activated in uh, employee directory, all right? Uh, but again, you know, other than that, it behaves the same as any other team. So let me open the site. This is the site that got created uh, as um, as part of this, uh, as part of this uh, uh, kind of exercise. Uh, and uh, look at this, if you notice, if you notice uh, uh, over here on the upper, in the upper right-hand corner, um, it already has four members. Why? Because these are all the users I have in my uh, in my um, tenant. So it automatically, uh, obviously, I'm the owner, right? Because I created this group. But everyone else, um, you know, all these users got added automatically to my team, uh, to my site, um, and uh, I really pre pretty much did not have to do it manually. Uh, and that's because we created an org-wide uh, team. All right, so that's all I wanted to demonstrate to you today. Hopefully, you learned something new. Uh, again, this org-wide setting or org-wide option is only available to admins. So, if you want an org-wide team, you need to reach out to your, um, to probably to your IT team, someone with uh, uh, global officer 65 uh, uh, privileges. All right. Uh, again, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog SharePoint Maven. Dot com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.